16 Things to Do and 6 Not to Do in Hawaii Travel Guide Hawaii is made up of many islands, atolls, and caves. But only 6 are the main islands, or rather, only 6 are the most visited islands. And each of these islands has its own distinctive character, cultural history, and activities to experience. Referred to as the Gathering Place, Oahu is one of the six most visited islands in Hawaii with many popular places to explore, including Waikiki, the North Shore Beaches, and Pearl Harbor. The main island of Hawaii is commonly referred to as the Big Island because it is the largest island in the Hawaiian archipelago. Rich in cultural and geographical history, the Big Island is home to three active volcanoes, beautiful waterfalls, black sand beaches, coffee shops, and more. One. Doors Off Helicopter Tour in Kauai About 70% of beautiful Kauai is inaccessible by foot, so the only way to explore it is by helicopter, and flying without doors means having completely unobstructed, breathtaking views. You will be constantly surrounded by incredible scenery, including the Napali Coast, Waimea Canyon, Mount Wailele, and Jurassic Falls. For this tour, you must be at least 10 years old. Of course, helicopter tours with doors are also available to allow even the little ones to enjoy the panoramic views of the island. 2. Kona Coffee Farm Hawaii is famous for its coffee, cocoa, and macadamia nut plantations. If you love coffee, why not take advantage of your Hawaii vacation for a Kona old-style guided tour at Kauai Iwi Farm to discover the intricacies of the coffee brewing process from start to finish. Tours also include a delicious tasting of their award-winning coffees, macadamia nuts, and jams. 3. Sunset with Sea Turtles Every evening at sunset, regardless of the time of year, sea turtles swim ashore to rest at Ho'opipa Beach Park. At the eastern end of the beach, at the bottom of the cliff near the water, 20 to 40 specimens congregate at a time to sleep. This species of turtle is endangered, so be sure to respect the isolated area, keep it clean, and give them the space they need. As long as you respect them and don't touch them, you can swim and snorkel with the turtles. And if you want to learn more about the animal, a park volunteer is always there to answer any questions you may have. 4. Waimea Canyon in Kauai Nicknamed the Grand Canyon of the Pacific, Waimea Canyon in western Kauai is approximately 9 kilometers long, one kilometer wide and one kilometer deep. The stunning views from the rim show the steep sides of red and orange color and green patches. Waimea Canyon Road leads directly to the viewpoint within the park, but there are many other viewpoints along the way that offer different perspectives. 5. Visit Paia Town in Maui Paia is a small surf town on the north shore of Maui. The historic high street is teeming with hundreds of independent local boutiques, surf shops, cafes, art galleries, and more. Some of the best restaurants on the island are here, including Mama's Fish House, Paia Fish Market, and Hana Ranch Provisions, making it a foodie's paradise. Make sure you get off the main drag and visit the Dharma Center, consecrated by the Dalai Lama. Guests can spin the prayer wheel and photograph the murals inside the stupa. 6. Bicycling If you want to explore the islands at your own pace, rent a bike on the Big Island or Maui. Rental is available in several locations at economical rates. The Big Island offers a few dedicated biking trails, with several trails suitable for mountain bikers within Volcanoes National Park. Maui is more equipped for lovers of two-wheeled pedals, which makes it much easier to wander around La Haina and Kihei. 7. Snorkel with Sharks in Oahu If you love adrenaline, then add snorkeling with sharks to your list of things to do in Hawaii. One of the most popular attractions in Hawaii is snorkeling. Snorkeling in itself is a wonderfully exciting activity, but doing it among sharks is pure adrenaline. Here, for the moment, there is only one ocean diving, which offers the possibility of snorkeling without a cage, and it is the only tour that goes to where the sharks live rather than attracting them with food, so that they can be observed in a natural and peaceful environment. One Ocean is part of a conservation and scientific study group run by marine biologists and experts in shark behavior models. Tours last a couple of hours, with around 30 to 45 minutes on the water. 8. Sunrise Lava Tour The Big Island is home to active volcanoes in Hawaii, and hiking to see active lava flows is a unique experience. Tours depart from Volcanoes National Park, where you'll be within meters of fresh lava. Watch the sunrise and visit lesser-known areas within the Rainforest Park. The excursion starts very early in the morning at 4 and ends around 9 or 10 depending on the proximity of the lava. 
The tour is suitable for everyone, but it may be too strenuous an excursion for very young children. Also, the volcanic fumes are strong and pregnant women, children, and the elderly are advised not to get so close. 9. Holua Loa in Big Island Holua Loa is an art colony in the Kona Mountains. Just a 20-minute drive from Kailua Kona, this small town is surprisingly filled with visual art galleries, showcasing paintings, sculptures, ceramics, and jewelry. The best known is Studio 7, with the art of two generations of the Mare Nui family. Donkey Mill Art Center offers classes and exhibits that are often free. 10. Ahuena Heo in Big Island Aside from the historically significant places in Hawaii, this is the religious temple used by King Kamehameha the Great, who united all the Hawaiian islands. This heiau became the center of political power during the height of his reign and later the site of his death. Damaged in a hurricane, the site has been lovingly restored in recent years. Ahuena heiau is free and open to the public. It's located in Kalua Kona, right on the bay, steps away from the Hulihi Palace, once the former vacation home of Hawaii's royal family and now a museum. 11. Road to Hana and Maui Starting in Paya, the Hana Highway runs east through the tropical rainforest. It is a winding road with hairpin bends and sheer slopes. The landscape is breathtaking, with waterfalls, bamboo forests, and the largest ancient lava stone temple in all of Polynesia. There are dozens of stops along the way, some of which are Wai Anapanapa State Park, with black sand beach and hiking trails, Wailua Falls, with a short hike to the waterfall and wading pool, and Nahigu Marketplace, small shacks you come across along the way. 12. Hilo Rainforest Hike in Big Island One of the most beautiful excursions to do in Hawaii is the trip to the rainforest near Hilo to admire the pristine nature of the area. Notable sites are Richardson Black Sand Beach, Rainbow Falls, Liliu Okalani Gardens, Thurston Lava Tube, and Volcanoes National Park. 13. Hilo Farmer's Market Recognized as one of the best markets in the United States, Hilo Farmer's Market features more than 200 vendors selling local fruits, vegetables, and flowers. This is a great stop to sample a variety of inexpensive foods from around the world. Thai food, sushi, Peruvian tamales, kau and kona coffee, and baked goods. It is located in downtown Hilo, within walking distance of the aquarium, the Pacific Tsunami Museum, the Lyman Museum, and the beach at Bayfront Park, and is open every Wednesday and Saturday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. year-round. 14. Duke Respect in Oahu The father of modern surfing and Hawaii's ambassador of aloha, Duke Kahanamoku, is depicted by a nearly 10-foot-tall bronze statue on Waikiki Beach. Olympic swimmer, waterman, Hollywood actor, and sheriff of Honolulu. Duke's popularity was instrumental in reviving the sport of surfing and spreading its popularity around the world. The statue stands with open arms, wrapped in flower lays left by admirers. This is one of the most photographed sites in Waikiki, located on Kalakalua Avenue near the Waikiki Police Station. 15. The Haina Town Front Street is the main waterfront street in the historic whaling town of La Haina, today a destination for great restaurants, art galleries, and shops. Spend the day on the Historic Trail, a scythe-guided walking tour through the city with stops at Baldwin House, Banyan Court Park, the old La Haina Lighthouse, and the old prison. Every Friday night is Art Night, with gallery openings, artist demonstrations, and entertainment. Maps for Historic Trail and Art Night are available online or at the La Haina Visitor Center in the courthouse. 16. Night Paddleboarding Under Fireworks in Oahu Every Friday night, Nocturnal Adventures Hawaii offers guided tours of the barrier reef off the coast of Waikiki Beach. The paddleboards on the underside have glowing lights to illuminate the wildlife below the surface of the water. Tours depart from Waikiki Beach just before sunset, looking for tropical fish and sea turtles. And after dark, still floating on the waves, you can enjoy the usual weekly fireworks display. 17. Six warnings. One, choose a beach hotel right away. In the collective imagination, we all think of renting a hotel on the beach in order to go out and be at the sea in two steps. However, the price aspect should not be underestimated, which will certainly be much higher. And above all, you must know that the beaches in Hawaii are public, so the beach of any hotel will also be your beach. Two, do not rent a car. 
Unless you are stuck in a luxury resort, it is always good to experience the islands that make up Hawaii because, as you saw earlier in the video, there are so many things to visit between a trek and a sunset. 3. Always eat out You must know that the food, especially the one you are used to, is shipped to this remote area of the globe. This obviously will cause the prices to be much higher than the average. Consequently, we invite you to eat in typical local places or try to eat in your room or apartment by taking advantage of the numerous supermarkets that you will find scattered throughout Hawaii. 4. Sunscreen Be very careful because the intensity of the sun's rays in Hawaii is much higher than in many other areas of the world. Consequently, always remember to protect yourself with a cream with at least 50 protection. This advice is also essential in the case of children. 5. Don't come for a week. In our opinion and that of the travelers we interviewed, the minimum stay for Hawaii should be at least 14 days. In fact, it must be borne in mind that a couple of days go away only to move from one island to another, which reduces the effective stay to 10 or 11 days. 6. Watch out for valuables. Hawaii is a relatively quiet island where there is no major crime scene. However, thefts do happen and therefore one must be careful not to carry objects of great value, at least in some circumstances. Like on the beach, for example, where it's always better to ask your neighbor with a towel to take a look at your personal belongings if he goes away to take a dip.